Good morning, welcome to Ridge Kids. If I haven't had a chance to meet you, my name is Randy and I get to be the children's pastor here at Ridgefield Nazarene and we call our kids ministry Ridge Kids. If you've been here before, welcome back. But we're in the third week of August and all this month we're looking at God's creativity and what that means to us. And so with our older students, we're talking about Canvas and how um, we were made creative and God has made us to do great things. And with our younger students, Ridge Kids Junior, we're talking about stack it up and how we can look at the world around us and the things that God has created and we want them to understand that, that it is good and it is amazing and that God does have a plan. So this week we have a Bible message for, for each of these two groups and we're going to start out with our younger Ridge Kids Junior group and then uh, spill into Ridge Kids. But we'd hope that you guys would sing together. We would like you to just get up, spend that time worshiping God, uh, spend some time praying together. Uh, reading your Bibles together, and then discussing kind of what we talked about today um, at home. If you ever want to join us in person, we do have services at 9 and 1030, and we have uh, groups for all ages. So we'd love to see you in the building at some point, and I'm, great, I'm grateful that you guys joined us online today. So enjoy your service. At the very end, I'll come back and check in with you, uh, but we hope you enjoy it. sunshine every seashell that I find I remember God made everything from the sky to the mountains by your love I'm surrounded I remember God made everything God made me just the way I am He made the friends made a fun game for us to play, and I love playing games. Look at these giant bowling pins. There's a special picture on the bottom of each pin. I'm going to use this ball to knock down a pin. 
Then we can look at the picture on the bottom to see something God made. Let's give it a try. Count to three with me. One, two, three, go! Look what's on this pen. Shout out if you know. Yes, God made fish. Wouldn't it be awesome to swim like a fish? Pretend to swim like a fish with me. Put your hands together. Now swim, little fishies. Let's try another one. Count to three with me. One, two, three, go! Look at this. Shout it out if you know what it is. Yes, God made birds. Can you imagine how amazing it would be to fly like a bird? Flap your wings like this. Now say tweet, tweet. Great job. It's fun being a bird. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Do you want to be a feathery bird, too? Oh, hi, Ollie. It must be so fun to fly. Birds are special. It's true. I know who made the birds and fish, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Beautiful sound, Stormy. Oh, <laughs> hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you help us figure out what that sound is? Put your hand to your ear like this and listen with us. What do you hear? You're right. Those are birds. Do you like the sound of those birds, Stormy? <laughs> well, there are lots of birds in today's true story from the Bible. Are you ready for our story? If you're ready, can you tweet like a bird? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> you sound ready to me. <laughs> okay, so we've been learning how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. Then on day two, God made the sky above the water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. Then, on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. God looked at everything he had made and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. God had already made so many creative, wonderful, beautiful things, but he wasn't done yet. God made even more. So on day five, God said, let the water be filled with lots and lots of sea animals. Let's think, what kind of animals live in the water? When I count to three, I want you to tell me one animal that lives in the water, okay? One, two, three. That's right, God made sea turtles, God made seahorses, God made whales and sharks. God made fish, so many different kinds of fish. God made big fish and little fish in all colors and shapes. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a clownfish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a rainbow fish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a goldfish. Can you make a fish face with me? Ready? You all made such good fish faces. On day five, God filled the sea with lots and lots of sea animals. And God made something for the sky too. Shout it out if you know what animal God made to fly in the sky. That's right. On day five, God made birds. God made so many beautiful birds. Let's see if you know what color these birds are. What color is this bird? <laughs> yes, it's blue. God made birds that are blue. What color is this bird? Yep, it's pink. God made birds that are pink. And what color is this bird? <laughs> this bird has lots of colors. God made all different kinds of birds. 
God made so many awesome fish to swim in the sea and so many beautiful birds to fly in the sky. When God made all the fish and birds, He saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. On day five, God made fish and birds. Only God can do that. God is so creative and so powerful. God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made the fish and birds and everything, all for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God made the fish to swim in the sea and birds to fly in the sky. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good! I'm going to keep bowling to see all the things that God made. See you next time!
we start the show off by smacking each other in the face with a pie. Mm. Pies, yeah. again, I feel like we do that all the time. Oh. I think, I think we can come up with something a little more creative. Yeah, okay, I agree. Um, oh, what about this? We start the show off on a boat. Mm. A shrimp boat. Ooh, 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 I like it. And, and then, ooh, and then a big storm comes up. Oh, yes, and the storm pushes us to an ice world. Ooh, ooh, where there's a water horse. Oh, and singing ice sculptures. Yeah, yeah, and, and then the storm pushes us all the way to South America. Where we meet a house that's alive. Ooh, and you can play the piano on its floorboards. Yeah, and there's a cave there with a treasure inside. But a boulder starts to chase us oh, and we have to jump out of the cave oh, yeah. into the water. Yeah, but this time instead of the boat, we climb into a seaplane. Yeah, but we meet a big giant snake who's really friendly and the snake's name is Reggie. Ah, uh, yeah, and the plane is pulling an enormous banner oh. that says, Welcome, Welcome to, to the so-and-so so show. show. Oh, that is brilliant. I know. Can we afford it? Let's ask the accountant. No. Oh well. Yeah. That works. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. Oh, oh, I wonder if that's uh, the delivery. A delivery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! It arrived early, man. What, what is it? No, it's 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 some new shelves from Idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, here, okay. help me out, help me get them. Yeah, hold yeah, on yeah. a second, let me make some room. All right. Oh yeah, oh great, great idea, thank you. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Whoa, that's big. It is big, okay. yeah, they're gonna be great. All right, oh, this is heavy. All right, oh okay. man, it's okay, we got it, we got it. We're strong. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. can you lift it a little higher? I gotta get under it. That's it, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, can you hear it? Uh-huh. Oh. 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 All right. All right, let's sit it down. Okay. Uh. Woo! Okay, hopefully that was the hard part. Usually these things are pretty easy to put together. Yeah, what are these shelves for? Well, we got so much stuff around here, I just thought uh, we could use a little organization. <laughs> you felt like we needed to be more organized? What, is there a rule that says I can't be ridiculous and organized? I, no, I like it, let's okay, do it. Okay, great. Right. Here we go, come on. Here we go. All yeah. right. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Okay. Uh, here, hold your hands out, here. Hold my hands up? Yeah, yeah, here. What are you doing? Nothing, I'm just I'm taking the pieces out. All right, isn't there like an order you're supposed to do this in? What do the instructions say? Uh, I don't see any instructions. What? There's really no instructions? Well, I, I guess they forgot. I guess they forgot to put them in, man! Oh. But no worries, you and I are two creative people, right? Yeah, well I wouldn't say woodworking is And something we both have God-given talents and gifts. Hey, you're right. Yeah. We have a problem. No instructions! And we're gonna use our creativity to figure it out! Yes we are! Cue, Cue the, the building, building montage! montage. built it. We certainly built something. We solved one problem. And created another. Well, should we see what Kellen has to say? I think so. 
It's, it's Bible, Bible story, story time with Kellen. Hey guys, just let me say, that took some special skills to do what you two have done today. Thanks. And it's gonna take even more to get us out of here. <laughs> you know, this kinda reminds me of today's story. Is it about someone in the Bible who was trapped in a box? No, but it is about someone who used their creativity to solve a big problem. Oh, I like the sound of that. And can I use your help to tell it? Well, I mean, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> Great, it's time for Human Head Puppet Theater. Today's story is about Joseph, someone who had an incredibly interesting life. And you can read all about his story in the book of Genesis. But very quickly, Joseph was one of 12 brothers and he, he was special. God gave Joseph the ability to remember and understand dreams. Now, because of that, Joseph's brothers were jealous of him, so much so that they sold him into slavery in Egypt. After that, Joseph was thrown into prison. And while he was in prison, Joseph interpreted the dreams of two Egyptian king's servants, the baker and the wine taster. And that's where today's story begins. The Egyptian king, or Pharaoh, was sleeping one night, and he had a pretty interesting dream. Oh, oh look, <laughs> those seven healthy cows. <laughs> they look so happy. <laughs> but then seven other cows showed up. Oh, look. <laughs> Ew. They were skinny and ugly. Hey! That's what it says. It also says that the skinny cows devoured the larger, healthier cows. Get in my belly! <laughs> Come back here, you healthy cows! Then Pharaoh woke up. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare! <laughs> no more chili before bed! <laughs> Oh, I'm still so sleepy, <laughs> but I don't want to fall back to sleep. Then he had another dream where seven healthy stalks of grain were consumed by seven dried up stalks of grain. This, of course, upset the Pharaoh. So the next morning, he asked all of his advisors all about his dreams. And then the dried up grain swallowed up the healthy grain. Well, what does it mean? I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm just the wine taster. <laughs> Did you have chili before bed? I, isn't there anyone in my kingdom who can tell me what my dreams mean? Uh, uh, I, I, wait, do you, do you remember the time that you had me thrown into prison a couple of years ago? Yes. Of course, of course you do. Well, when I was there, I met a man who told me what my dreams meant. His name was J J J J J Jonathan. No, J J J J Jamish. No, J J J J Joseph. His name was Joseph. Bring him to me. Yes. Right. <sighs> right. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to make fun of me. I could- Go once! So Joseph was cleaned up and brought out of prison to see Pharaoh. You wanted to see me, Pharaoh? Yes, I hear you can tell people what their dreams mean. Can you interpret mine? I can't do it. Ah! But God can tell Pharaoh what his dream meant. <laughs> Pharaoh then recounted his dreams to Joseph. He told him about the seven healthy cows that were eaten up by the seven ugly and skinny cows. And then he told him about the seven heads of grain that were swallowed up by the dried grain. Joseph thought about the dreams, then said, Both dreams have the same meaning. God has shown Pharaoh what's about to happen. There will be seven years with plenty of food. What? 
That's amazing. That's wonderful. That's <laughs> After that, <laughs> there will be seven years of famine. There won't be enough food. It will be so bad, everyone will forget about the seven good years. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Give it to me straight, what do we need to do? Pick someone wise and put them in charge. Have them take a fifth of the harvest every year during the seven years of plenty. That way, when the famine hits the country, it won't be destroyed because it doesn't have enough food. I see. We will do what you say because the spirit of God is obviously with you. Oh, and BT Dubs, you're in charge because God has made all this known to you. Huzzah! <laughs> so Joseph was put in charge of Egypt and he put his plan into action. They saved food for seven years. And when the famine hit, they had food to share, not just with the people of Egypt, but with people from all over. God had given Joseph an amazing gift, the gift to interpret dreams. And Joseph chose to use his gift to help solve a huge problem in Egypt. The end. Wow. Yeah. Joseph used what God gave him to solve an entire nation's problems. I wonder if our creativity will ever be used for something that big. Yeah. You never know. God gave us all certain gifts and talents for a reason. And it sure would be a shame if we didn't use them. Well, I think my work here is done. Until next time. Thanks for the story, Kellen. Yeah, thanks. So, we're still in a box. Yeah. Reveal the question! Oh, okay. How have you seen someone solve a problem? Oh, when I was a kid, I got caught out in the rain and a friend of mine made me an umbrella out of an old kite. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, once I saw a guy defuse a bomb using a paper clip and a tube of toothpaste. Was it MacGyver? Yes. Mm. God has given us all different gifts. We should look for ways to use them. Y yeah, like to get out of this thing. Exactly. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye. When did you get that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Wait, wait, we need our safety. Wait! We need our safety goggles. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there you go, thank you. All right. All right. Wait, I'm a little hungry. Oh yeah. Hold Sorry. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, oh, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. Woo, that's good. All right, let's get out of this thing. All right, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. You need any uh, butter or anything like that? Oh, yeah, do you mind? No, 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 yeah, it's in the basement. Okay. All right. We're in the basement. No, below. Oh, the oh, the box's basement. Yeah. How long do you have to hold this? I don't know. They have a shot yet? I don't know. Did he say cut? I don't know. Did he say cut? I'm drilling on myself. You're drilling? Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll try to light it up. I get that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, still going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going crazy. Uh. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if you've read this Bible story before, but we're in Genesis again, and we're in chapters 40 and 41, and it's looking at this life of Joseph and uh, this plan to save Egypt. And what we want to take away from this is that God can use us to do the things in the world that he's hoping and wanting and is going to do, and that we get to be a part of that. And so our bottom line today says, you can use what God gave you to solve problems. So the last two weeks we've been talking about creativity and last week Ephesians 2.10 how God has created you, that you are his masterpiece and that when we decide to follow Jesus that he makes us new and that he actually has good things planned for us. So just think about that for a while if you never have. Um, and when we decide to follow Jesus and if you haven't given your life to Jesus, uh, I would just encourage you into that and uh, it is the best decision we'll ever make. But when we do that, God comes in and he changes the way we think. 
uh, and he changes our purpose. And we talked about that last week. So this week, with that new purpose in Christ, God does have things that he wants you to do. He has problems that are around us that we want to solve. So do any of you at home, do you guys ever have problems? I'm guessing you said yes, and I do as well. But our faith helps us to walk through those problems and to find solutions such as in Joseph's case in this amazing story. God has an amazing story for you. So go and live it out this week. As always, we'd love for you to text in your prayer request or just a highlight from the service. And that number is 360-552-7794. We would love to hear from you. Um, I hope that I can connect with you at some point. And we've got one week left in August and we're pretty excited about what we'll do next week. And then we're going to jump into the fall and September. So we've got some exciting things. So have a great week. I'll see you next week, Ridge Kids.